Yeah, in Washington DC, we call the 100 million unemployed youth in the Middle East as the generation in waiting. But I don't think that they should be waiting any longer. I think that in the Middle East, we have plenty of resources. Um, we have lots of money. We have lots of sunlight, lots of natural resources, oil, gas, uh, the ability to grow food. Uh, all the sorts of infrastructure and financial resources that other countries have, but even more. So the fact that we have policies that have ignored the value of the youth, that have ignored the fact that these are our human assets and this is the generation that will grow in the knowledge economy, um, those two things now have to be brought together, the use of the natural resources and the youth talent and skills. And what is good in terms of uh, Islam is that inside the Quran, in the Holy Quran, is a fantastic environmental policy. You know, there are guidelines for how you clean your nose, how you clean your teeth, how you clean your home, how you take care of the soil, of the trees, of all the animals and the birds, and, and really uh, fantastic um, teachings. But the modern Muslims don't know how to put that into practice. So I'm writing a book called Muslims Go Green and that will be published in June 2011. And it will take the passage from the Holy Quran on the right hand side and on the left hand side it will give step by step instructions of how to put that into practice in the 21st century. So we have the ancient teachings with the modern application and uh, over a billion Muslims across the world can go green and become sustainable and all in alignment with the faith that they practice.